Hello everyone, this is the last video in this building design using a messing technique. The link to the previous two parts is given below in the description box. Don't forget to watch them before you continue with this one. In the following video, I am going to show you guys about how you can add these type of curvilinear structural frames as a mass in Revit. But before I start the tutorial, once again, let me remind you to like, share my videos, leave a comment below, give me your constructive feedback and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any query or difficulty associated to Revit, do tell me. So now let's start. I have already created uh, these uh, structural frames on one part of the building and now in this video I am going to add these frames on the other part in the same process. So now double click on this structure to enter the mass mode. After that select this top surface and then click on this divide surface in that select uh, this pattern of rhomboid from this dialog box in in here either you can enter a number or a distance so for now i'm going to enter a distance of 10 feet for both u grid and v grid after that you, you can see that uh, start and the end is not connected and I want so I'm going to select number from here to add the exact distance after that select these nodes from this dialog box after clicking the surface so that you now you can have these little dots for selection now we have this uh, basic framework on which we are going to add our structural frames so now open new family template file of generic model adaptive go to reference level floor plan in this new family file and here add 16 adaptive 16 uh, reference points the reason why we are adding 16 reference points will be explained later on. After that, I am going to just make them equal with the help of this dimension tool. It doesn't matter what is the length, uh, what is the distance between the points and what is the overall length because they will uh, take the shape, take the dimensions when they are attached to the building. After that, select the, all of these reference points and then click on make adaptive and then connect them with the help of subline, just like I have shown in the video. Now select this reference plane and then add a circle, a draw a circle on it. Then move it a little bit because I am not going to attach the structural frame to the surface and then create this form then after that assign a material to it just as shown in the video after saving the file loaded into the project And now I am going to place these components at these reference points as shown in the video. So first of all click on this point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 
14 15 and the last one 16 so this is the reason why I have created 16 adaptive points in the family template file because there are 16 dots which are appearing on this building if there are 10 points then I will create the family of 10 adaptive points and so on in this similar manner add keep on adding these frames one by one on this building And now I am going to skip the video to the point where I have placed all of these six uh, all of these structure frames with 16 adaptive points. Now at the start and the end of the building, uh, the I have to add the uh, frames with the, which have less than 16 points. So now I am going to show you how you can do that. So first of all, go to that position where it is easily visible. Hide this other part of the building as it is disturbing the view. Now open that family file in which you have created these uh, 16 adaptive points. Save as this file as a new family and give it a name 14 as it is going to have 14 adaptive points. So instead of drawing a new family file, simply delete these two adaptive points and now we have 14. So simply load it into the project and add these 14 adaptive points like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and the last one, 14. So now the next line is going to have 12 points. So in the same exact process, I'm going to create a new family file with 12 adaptive points in the same exact process just by deleting these uh, by creating and by saving by saving a new family file with the name 12 and deleting these two extra adaptive points so keep on repeating this process for to add these frames on the start and end of the building
again i am going to skip uh, the video to the point where i have placed all of these frames to uh, at the other end of the building so now all of our structural frames are placed at its position now i'm going to show you how you can place this larger curve for that i'm going to delete the one which i've already drawn so what you need to do is select this longer arc curve basically and once you have selected it click on divide path and now you, by default it has been divided in six points but you can also change the number of the points like like one, uh, one, two to 10 12 13 whatever you want so create open a new uh, family template file of generic model adaptive and add six reference points like this make these points as adaptive and then connect them with spline after that set this reference plane to this plane and then draw a square like this or rectangle or any other shape you want select the square sorry first of all move it a little bit upwards and then select the square and the line and then click on create form assign material to this component load it into the project and then place it on the curve like this as there are six points on this curve and there are six adaptive components in the family file so i'm going to place them one by one like this and now you can see that how easily it is taking the shape of the curve so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime and don't forget to give me your feedback and do leave a comment below i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe